Well, hi, this is uh, G4 YPM again here from Portal, and uh, this is my latest station. There's my K1, there's my dog, there's my other dog, there's my other dog. That dog's name is actually Yagi, he's named after the aerial. And uh, what we've got here. Let's see, here we are. Uh, this is me. We're again near Salisbury, not too far out of the city. You might be able to see the city over there actually. Um, you, see the, you might just be able to see the, uh, the spire of Salisbury Cathedral, but you might not, I don't know. In this sun, low sunshine, it's about uh, six o'clock in the evening now, six o'clock in the afternoon. And um, I've been out here about an hour I came out really to, <laughs> to try a new aerial which hasn't worked but um, I put up a wire and that did work and I've just worked uh, DF7ZB uh, Horst from Germany of course and he gave me a 5x3x9 um, uh, 539 for the CW off the KX1 well, the temperature here today is a lot less than it was the other day. 18 or 19 degrees centigrade here today, which is fantastic. Of course. As you can see, some very nice clouds in the sky. Uh, I mean, this is uh, this is really strong portable operation at its best, isn't it? It's not too hot. It's a little bit too windy, um, which makes uh, all sorts of things difficult. Just even throwing wires in trees. But um, if you're interested in going stroke portable, then this is what you want. You want some trees, ideally, and you want somewhere to sit, uh, and you want some peace and quiet. And if you look around here, there's plenty of peace and quiet. Uh, there's some trees. You might just be able to make out my antenna in the tree. Uh, if we walk closer to it, I'll try and help the, uh, there's the wire running into that tree. Uh, the station is here. And the counter poise actually went off into that tree there, but it's, it's since come out, so I've taken it out. And this is what you want, really. You don't really want people mooching around you, and you don't want noise, ideally. And you want somewhere to put a wire area if you're going to use a wire antenna. Um, and of course, if you can use CW, then you're even better fixed, because then you can use a big wire for you. CW rig, it's, it's much easier on wires to do it. Um, and, it, and that's it really, and stroke portable on a day like today is fantastic. I'm not going to be in the freezing cold, and that's not fun. And in fact, it's not no fun at all, so I stopped doing it. But on a day like today, 18 degrees centigrade, it's lovely. In the heat of the summer, it gets a little bit unbearable sometimes, but it's well worth doing portable operations. There's a great website called um, Amateur Radio Portable Operations Club. ARPOC, ARPOC.org. Um, uh, during that website, we will encourage you to uh, to go out portable, and we'll tell you how to do it. If you've never done it before, then you can win all sorts of boards for just getting out there and having fun. Just a bit of fun, really. Obviously, uh, equally, the Fists website. Fists is a fantastic club. Uh, I really love Fists, and um, looking to see if I've got the T-shirt on, but I haven't. Uh, and uh, that's a CW, obviously, club. Uh, but uh, again, if you want to learn CW or you want to learn more about CW, then join us on, on Fists. If you want to listen to the Fists frequencies, they're generally um, uh, 28 or 58, so uh, 7.028, 14.058, 3.558 is the Fists frequency. Join us and uh, we'll always talk to you. And if you can't use Morse yet, well, come to the Fists website and we'll help you. We'll teach you how. Um, so that's it really, that's uh, portable operations. It's lovely, it's lovely. Um, I'll put another little video up next time uh, if there's something of interest which I can say, but at the moment that's it, just me and the radio and a bit of wire and a stupid dog who's doing something unimaginable. <laughs> Catch you later.